Okay, you probably wonder what I'm doing, right? Well, I'm creating my YouTube channel trailer. Hi, welcome back to Getting It Done North of 7. It's rolling here. Seriously though, I'm going to get my utility tra trailer ready for the spring and summer. We use this thing so much. We, uh, we cut grass locally as well and we carry our motorcycles sometimes to uh, another place where we go riding. Uh, I gotta use it for firewood. It's just non-stop. This, this trailer gets used more than any other thing that I have around here. It just, it's go, go, go. So I'll take you around and show you a few things on the trailer that I need to fix so that it will last me a long time. Okay, recently I had to fix the, the wiring on here. I had to put a whole new end on and tape it up. I probably should have made it one inch longer, but it just connects to my truck lighting. It's unbelievable. It just, just connects. And I wish I made it a little longer. I might change it out again down the road, but for now it works, so we'll let it be at that. This, this trailer here is... 10 feet long by 5 feet wide and when we decided we we're going to start cutting grass locally around here like it's more for my boys than myself but uh it seems like i've gotten really involved and and uh you know the work the job gets done a lot quicker so i said we're going to need a good trailer to get these lawnmowers around our riding lawnmower and that sort of thing so i bought a trailer with a ramp and am I ever glad I did. This ramp is handy. I've had other trailers before, but, you know, I never had a ramp, and it's such a pain. And it also tilts, as you can see here. I can also tilt it. I've never had to use it, though, but it's the option is there. So here's what we're going to be uh, fixing on this thing. Mostly just surface rust. Um, I'm going to try and grind all that off and just touch it up with some paint. I don't want it to rust any more than it has to. I also go around and do a couple yards or driveways for people in the wintertime that need snow removal. And the trailer picks up a bit of salt. I try to keep, keep it clean as soon as we come home. But, you know, you can't get it up perfect. So there's that spot. You can see it's been painted before. It wasn't by me. It was a previous owner. There's a spot here that needs to be fixed. Another spot here, just small spots, but you know, you got to keep on top of these things. And here, I'll clean that up really good and give it a quick shot of paint. Some trebin clad paint. As for the box, it's fine. Nice metal box. It's in good shape. Now, you may notice that I have a big uh, cinder block and two tractor wheel weights in the front. Well, that's because this company that designed this trailer, I believe they're called N&N &N Trailers, yeah. They either didn't put a long enough tongue or they didn't put the axle back far enough. It's not proper, the weight isn't properly dis distributed. And I think it's all because, or I know it's all because of this um, this heavy ramp. It full, it, when I unhook it here, undo the pins, I can extend the ramp, fold it up, and then it comes down, and it's heavy. So that throws the whole weight distribution of this trailer off. So I put those weights in the front to balance it out, especially when I have a load. Like if I have my lawn tractor in here, I can uh, put it right up to the front, and that distributes the weight really well, and I don't need that in the front. But if I'm going to pick up firewood or just anything else, or take going to the dump with a load. This thing wants to sway like this behind the truck, and it's insane. It's just really dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna start cleaning up some of this trailer now. I'm just gonna take a scraper to rust, get all the loose stuff off, and then I'll take like a wire brush to it after on a drill or a grinder, I guess. But first, I want to get this sticker off. I kind of like to keep it, I think. Yeah, well, we'll see. It doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, 
Yeah, I can see this is gonna probably rip. Okay, we're back. We've got the rust kind of cleaned up around the base of the trailer. As you can see, we painted, my son and I, we just did the base like from here, from here down, just cleaned up what rust there was. Also at the front there. So we got it done all the way around the trailer. It looks a little better. I hope, hopefully it will prevent it from rusting more. It's not really the way I would like to do it, but that's what we have the equipment for you know we don't have the right equipment and we don't really want to put a lot of money into it right now so we just do what we can to preserve it and I'm gonna grease the bearings now on this trailer here uh, I think these are called buddy uh, bearing buddies this product here and you can install this on your on your hubs here and it allows you to grease your your hubs so that's what i'm going to do now and then i'll check the tire pressure i imagine they're fine that should do it it's not like a boat trailer you know you're not going in the water all the time so it doesn't need it doesn't need to be as greased as bad as a boat trailer because this never goes in the water, right? Only maybe rain water, but it doesn't even see that too often or snow. So, um, so yeah, now we'll just check the, check the tire pressures and everything should be good. This trailer is good for another season. And uh, that'll be it for this. Um, you might notice that I'm sitting on something. I'm sitting on my uh, dirt bike stand. I built this dirt bike stand. I'll put a link below if you want to see that maybe i'll even put one up here in the corner of the video put a link there so you can go check out if you have dirt bikes or motorcycles you may want to build your own save a little money you can build out of scrap wood laying around the house and then that'll be it we'll get this done and then i have to put my summer tires summer wheels back on one of my cars because it still has the winter wheels on it's you know beginning of april now i don't think it's going to get much colder than zero degrees anymore now so we'll get that done today as well so thanks for watching the video hit the like button the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll know when i got a video coming out i'd really appreciate all that and we'll see you on the next video guys take care